Shine has always loved playing in the mountains and being in the mountains and doing all kinds of outdoor stuff. She loves to read, so we read to each other all the time. I like to do crafts and other like fun games with my brother. I can only go an hour away from a children's hospital, so that really stinks. I am Cheyenne Dias, and I have T lymphoblastic lymphoma. I never really remember getting told, Cheyenne, you have cancer. I just could feel inside me that it wasn't right. We went from a cyst, which it wasn't, to a severely life-threatening condition. So it was very fast. They needed to flight for life for her to get her to the Children's Hospital in Denver because her trachea was in such a precarious state. I got on the helicopter, said goodbye, and that was that. The next step was to get me chemo immediately. When they said it was a two-year treatment plan, what that means is if you can go two years straight through of chemo, you'll be done in two years. What we didn't, what we've since learned is that nobody can go two years straight through. The resilience of Cheyenne through all of this has been amazing, but the hardest part is all the other stuff. You know, it's 16 different kinds of chemo, it's steroids, it's side effects from all of that, plus the side effects from the medicine to take the side effects off. There's, there's nothing more important than funding the research, just to help her and to help all the other kids that, that uh, don't know it yet, but will have to face that same challenge. I found out about St. Baldrick because of the head shaving event in March. Seeing people shave just for fun, it just made me feel amazing. Like, I didn't know what to do or say, it was awesome. She's already beat the odds on lots of stuff. She beat the odds on how long she was gonna be in the hospital. Her tumor went away. But beyond that, you know, anything that a parent wants for their child is to just be a healthy, happy kid that turns into a healthy, happy adult that lives a long, healthy, happy life. I want to be a pediatric oncologist and help kids out that have gone through what I've gone through.